That's what the devil don't want. Only pastor alone. So he can have all his plan around pastor alone. Ah, Makashi. But he don't know that little girl, that little boy, that little man, that little woman, anywhere they find him, my God, Abasha, he's going to break his back. She. Some of you go hide no longer. Lord of God, lift your hand, everybody. Lift your hand, everybody. In the name of Jesus. Rabakasha Rababa. I prophesy Rababa to every dry bone that remains in your body, in your mind, in your spirit. And I command those dry bones to come together in the name of Jesus I command you to come together and put on flesh and put on sinews and I speak I speak the breath of the Holy Ghost upon you now somebody praise him in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Hells. Oh, she baba. She baba baba. Sit down in the Holy Ghost. Anytime I see you, I'm going to tell you, break out. Break out. Break out. We heard a word was spoken here a couple of months ago, but a great break is coming. Anybody remember? Come on, somebody. Don't, 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 when it begin to happen, we don't remember. God will be grieved. Oh yes, God will say we are ungrateful. Yes, it was spoken. A great break is coming. My God of mercy. And before our little eyes, my God, we see a great break coming. Not upon a big time preacher come on somebody not upon a well-known television evangelist we thank god for them but we saw the breaking coming upon the boys the girls the men the women some never preach in the lifetime and if that is their first sermon my god of mercy you didn't take note of that come on because if they didn't tell you it was your first time you could not know come on Somebody wrote, as the Lord is humbling the nations in his mercy, he will sanctify and raise up the end time church with power. This they wrote after they saw World Vision Day on July 5, 2014. He will sanctify and raise up the end time church with power to witness even to the uttermost parts of the earth. It is time for the bride to wake out of sleep to meet the bridegroom. Can somebody say amen? Another wrote, I see you going all over the world. Wait a minute. Is this the part in Revelation when it says, when the whole world hears my word and then the end will come? I see you guys. Wow, what a word. In all these states and country, this can't be. Is it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. You see, you don't look for your own you know, confirmation. You, come on. You look for confirmation outside of your borders because you can't ordain yourself. You can't you 
can't lift up your sermon. Oh my God. But God will cause men and women across the world to look and see. And they look on July 5 and saw what was going on and said, listen to me. I've got to record this thing. There are some folks who recorded from Friday night until Saturday night. You didn't hear what I said. You didn't hear what I said. They sat down before the life program come on somebody on July 5 2014 and press a record and sat down for 24 hours to get it and when they got it before we could get together in the production room, they made their own video, made their own report, made their own compilation. Remember we told you that God is going to cause this thing to happen, that God going to cause them to do things we can't do. There are some folk going to preach better than us. There are some folk going to have more money than us. There are some folk going to have it more organized than us. It ain't no secret. As a matter of fact, I tell you this. One young man got a revelation from Canada. A young man. And he said he saw a stone. He saw a rock floating in the oceans. Floating in the sea. Anybody remember it? Yeah. And the rock had some holes in it. And he could not understand. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And he tried to give you the meaning. But I'm going to refine it for you. Can't miss what I'm going to tell you right now. Glory to God. That a rock represents the body of Christ. And God's mandate upon you as a model like how he chose Israel to represent mankind and, and to teach them and guide them ah, so that the rock represent Christ that you can't break it come on somebody glory to God the sea, the waters represent, come on people, the waters represent the peoples of the earth and God show in the rock Floating on the earth. I mean, on, on water. Come on, only Jesus walked on water. Come on, somebody. So the same way that Jesus walked on water, God gonna cause his body. Come on, somebody. God gonna cause his body. Jesus Christ gonna walk on water again. Come on, somebody. But this time it's going to be the body. The body is that one or two or three. The body of Christ is all flesh. Come on, somebody. Getting the job done. But then came the hard part for him. I'm glad what he said. He said, I did not understand why there were some holes in the rock. But when I came to understand more, let me refine that for you. Those holes in the rock is that the holes in the hands of Jesus. Come on, you don't want revelation. You don't want interpretation. Those holes in the rock is that the hole in the side of Jesus. The body of Christ. You don't, you, you don't want any, any interpretation. Those holes in the rock. Amen. It's like the holes in the feet of Jesus. Come on, somebody. They are the holes of persecution that is coming. Oh, glory to God. They are the holes of attack that is coming. They are the holes of some who are going to be killed for this vision. Come on, somebody. But God said as a body, as the body of Christ, it doesn't matter how many holes they put in the rock. My God of mercy, the rock will still float. The rock will not sink. My, is anybody there? It means therefore that God has authorized this rock to conquer the planet. God has authorized. No matter what they do, they can't win you. You are already a winner. My 
God of mercy. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Get ready to give unto the Lord. Get ready to give unto the Lord. It's all done. It's all done. What, he, what that young man has seen is of the Lord. This rock ain't going to sink. There's going to be a lot of attacks as are already coming. Persecutions. But God going to cause, even when they persecute us, it will be too late. The others take it already. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, it's going to be too late. God is setting up this thing. It's going to be impossible for it to sink. In 1905, when God released that gift of tongues ah, in Los Angeles and worldwide, in a short time, the very church that, that God used didn't stand. But by that time, people from all over the world had been to that place and had received the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. So even when they took away that church, they took away the property, my God was too late. Men and women across the earth of all colors and culture and kinds and kin and tribe went across the earth and the Pentecostal movement was born. I hear the Lord say, what's for attacks? Don't just be uh, counting your goals. Come on, go on the defense. What's for attacks? What's for snakes? Come on, uh, I'm going to get the we, we, we mainly preach about snakes, but I'm going to tell you what to watch for. What's for moles? Write it down. Moles and snakes are not the same. Snakes deliberately plot to damage and disturb. Moles are just the gullible types. They can't help themselves. They, they are the weak link in a movement. Every time a movement begins to mushroom and go, the enemies, maybe the media, maybe those who are jealous of the move will try to do things. Some will even come with offers and some folks are gullible. They are the first to open the door. Come on. They don't ask, who are you? But they're afraid to leave the door closed. Ah, they can't say no you know come on somebody they are the moles they are the bumps a, a mole is like a bumps a bump is like an injury it's like a it, 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 it's a little different from the, the general part of the skin come on somebody so you gotta watch for moles you gotta, you gotta be careful that you're not being used as a mold. You know, you're not in the church to give trouble. You're not gonna rise up as the pastor. But you can't tell your sister or your brother who don't like the movement. I, I can't listen to you. I, I can't do what you do. That's a mold. Come on, glory to God. And as this move of God, come on, Holy God. Remember, church, that when God was moving, when Jesus was walking and working miracles, when He sat around a table with the apostles. He did not just count the blessings. He said, among you, there is a traitor. Among you, there is a denier. Among you, there is a doubter. Among you are those who are looking for position. Come on, somebody. This move of God that God has raised up on the earth. God said the holes are going to come. The attacks are going to come. Make sure you not be used as a mole. That would be so worthless to see a move like this. No matter how you hate the church or hate the move of God. No matter you're missing up and slipping up and, and dipping and diving and you look and see the move of God. My God, that going to change your mind. No matter what you hate, no matter what you don't like, amen, when you see the mighty hand of God, you've got to go back to, my God, to your bedside and say, Lord, forgive me. You run to your leaders and say, I'm sorry. I won't do that no more. Come on, somebody here. My God, my God, my God. Someone said, no secret. Someone said, no secret. You see, the devil don't like this. The devil don't like this. He don't like something that's going to stand no matter what. He don't like something that's going to stand. 
Some preachers told me the other day, say, Peter, Bishop, I don't like when you talk like you, you might soon die. Please, please don't talk like that. Come on, somebody. Come on. And I understand. I told them the exit language is the most powerful language. Come on. Come on. You speak like you're dead, but you're going to live 20 years more. <laughs> You don't want any teaching. You don't want any teaching. Come on, somebody. You get exit sermon. Come on, somebody. Mama, yeah. am I going too deep? <laughs> My God, the sermon is like you're going to die. You know, anybody going to die the last day before they death? Nobody wise as them. Suppose can get that wisdom and still live. <laughs> Come on, somebody. That's what I told him. I said, I said, it's a drinking in that language. Drinking in the language. You're not looking for any accolade, looking for anything for yourself. You just want to see God work, move. Amen. The things you do is strange to others. God said in Hosea 8 and verse 12, He said, I taught you the great things of my law, and you consider it a strange thing. That's why God says in Luke 12, 56, he said, we hypocrites, my God, we can discern the weather. We can discern when the storm is coming and the rain is coming and we can't see the difference with this time. Nobody cool me down. To cool me, I said, God, let me go right now. Nobody cool me down. Come on. Preacher man, God showed me a glimpse of the end man. God showed me a glimpse man. Come on somebody. It gonna happen. What you saw all these years and read about and it look impossible. It look like it's only a dream. Come on somebody. I've seen a little bit. I'm on somebody. When I say see, I don't mean in, I don't I don't mean I don't mean on my altar right now. I'm talking in you. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. Right before my eyes I see little men, little women rising up with mighty power preaching like thunder come on somebody and there I am going on normal again again the devil is a liar I'm changing course I am adjusting myself to these new preachers I want to learn some of what they're preaching come on somebody oh glory to God somebody praise the Lord somebody praise the Lord somebody praise the Lord you're getting uncomfortable that's what I want to happen I want a break tradition I break every tradition of men of the body of Christ in the name of Jesus and I release I release the new thing come on come on come on even the very convention that we call World Revival Convention, the name is changed to World Vision Convention. Hallelujah. Oh, Bishop, we already print the flyers. Give them out. That's all right. Glory to God. But his vision, for the Bible says in Proverbs 29, 18, he says, without vision, the people perish. And we are going to perish right now. We want to see vision. We want to see dreams. The Bible says in Matthew 13 and verse 11, thereby speak I to them in parables for seeing they see not hearing they hear not neither do they understand can I tell you something you waiting for the outpouring guess what happened the creator is waiting on you James 5 7 he said the husband man hallelujah waited for the fruit of his vineyard and we waited come on isn't that something isn't that something someone said god's revival someone said god's vision revival rather but the god's vision revival 
Get excited. Someone say God's vision revival. Did you hear what I said? I said the creator is waiting. Not only creator, the creature is waiting. What's going wrong here? My God, Romans 8 and verse 19. You see the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. I notice one thing. Take note of this. Wake up. I notice one thing. Saudi Arabia. United Arab Emirates. Malaysia. And other Islamic countries. Where Christianity is not allowed. And they are on the top 10 viewers of nearly 300 countries on the earth. Somebody explain that to me. It's not good singing. It's not good preaching. It's a vision. Hallelujah. 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 Saudi Arabia has declared that everything called a church in that region must be removed. And Saudi Arabia most time is number five or six. I'm talking about tens of thousands of views from Saudi Arabia per month. And remember, they have to hide and do it. Why? Why? Vision. Vision is revelation. And I have a word for those Muslims in those countries. United Arab Emirates. Malaysia. Which one I say again? Saudi Arabia. Some parts of India and other countries. I know if you own that you're a Christian, you'll be persecuted and killed. But I say unto you, it's better to be persecuted for a few decades in this lifetime. To be killed in this lifetime and to live forever with Jesus Christ forever than to live now than to be scared now of persecution than to be scared to die now and to live forever in hell the choice is obvious it's better to be persecuted your life forever is more important for it's forever choose Christ choose life somebody give God praise somebody give God praise somebody say world vision revival somebody say world vision revival church is on the land it's on the land it's on the land it's on the land God is about to raise up some seers my God of mercy my God to to, to prophesy the coming of the Lord and the signs. Okay. Somebody praise God. You see, by vision, by vision, mankind is able to see Mankind will see the revelation of Christ in the heart. <laughs> Hallelujah. By seeing these things come to pass that no God, no false God cannot predict and come to pass. It will cause men, cause Jesus to be revealed in the heart before he be revealed to the eyes come on come on somebody it will move the heart to surrender the bible says in first corinthians 14 he said when all prophesy my god my god the ignorant man my god and all other men will come in and bow down before the true God 
and they will worship him. Then they will look on you and say, offer truth. Say, amen. God, God is in you. Look on your neighbor and say, offer truth. God is in you. So the word, vision, revival. Come on, say it serious, man. Come on. The word, vision, revival. This stone gonna conquer the earth. I'm gonna ask one of you ladies who read very well to come and I want you I want you to read out every country on the planet right now. 